Welcome. My name is Nina Justiniano. I'm the Director of Nursing of TIA Allied Health. This is Mrs. Maneef Simon, RN, Nurse Practitioner, and she's going to help me with the skill. We're going to do giving the bedpan. Our equipment is as follows. We, this is called a fracture bedpan. This is used for people who have a broken hip or spinal surgery. This bedpan is your standard bedpan that we use. With bedpans, women use the bedpan to urinate and have a bowel movement, but men only use the bedpan to have a bowel movement. They use a urinal to urinate. For this skill, we need a blue pad. I'm not gonna knock on the door. I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm gonna show you how to apply the bedpan appropriately. Come in. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. My name is Nina. How can I help you this morning? Yes, Irene. I would like to use a bed here. Yes, ma'am. Hand washing required. I'm going to lock the bed. I'm going to provide privacy. And don't forget for the state boards to please touch the curtain. You don't need to check the ID for someone that needs a bed pen. They need the bed pen. Let's give them the bed pen. Okay. I'm going to bring the bed up just slightly. This is brown. Okay. 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 Now there's two techniques I'm going to show you how to apply the bedpan. And I'm going to show you the different bedpans. We need a blue pad to protect our primary sheet. Please, Mrs., could you please bend your knees and lift up for me? Lift, please, Mrs. Lift up. Thank you. The pet band will slide under like so. Down. Another way to apply the bed pan, lift your hips, Mrs. Is to please turn to the side, Mrs. To place the bed pan. Cameraman, like so. The pet pan must be put this way. This is the correct way for comfort. She could roll back onto the pan like so. Now the use of the flexure bed pan. Turn over. The fracture bed pan is used like so. Slide it this way, and she can roll back onto the bed pan. What we need to remember as nurses is this. The bed pan can never go on the bedside stand ever, or any urinals, okay? You can place your bed pan here or on the floor, okay? For this video, I'm gonna use the standard big bed pan. Please lift up, missus. I'm gonna place this on the floor. Please bend your knees. Both knees, please, missus, and lift up. There you go. And down. All right. For this, we need to put the head of the bed up. She needs to be in a sitting position when she's using the bed pan. How you doing there, Mrs. Jones? Good. I think that's good. You good? Yes. All right. I'm going to give her the toilet paper. Jones, the core light. When she's done, she's going to call me and I'm going to retrieve the bed pan. Okay. I'm done. All right. Knock on the door. Are you ready to get off the bed pan? Yes, I think I'm finished. Okay. I need you to take the toilet paper. Please wash your hands for me. Okay. What we need to remember, nurses, is that you don't need the bed pen, the gloves to give the bed pen, but you need gloves to retrieve it. So I'm going to get my gloves. Hand washing required. I'm going to put my gloves on. I'm going to lower the head of the bed. Nurses, we mean, you cannot get the patient off the bedpan with them sitting in an upright position. I'm going to lower the head of your bed, Mrs., okay? Okay, one second. I'm going to ask you to please bend your knees and lift up. I'm going to take the bedpan and you cover it with your blue pad in one motion. Cover your patient.
How you feeling, Mrs. Jones? You okay? Oh, that's better. Okay, so now we're gonna pretend, empty it in the aqua mode, rinse it out, empty it in our commode, throw your blue pad out, return it to the bedside stand, take our gloves off, discard of our gloves, say hand washing required. How you doing? I'm gonna give you the core light. Okay, here's your core light, missus. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna raise the head of your bed a little bit. Please. And I'm gonna lower it if I've raised it. And put it in the lowest position. Okay. What we need to remember, points to remember for this skill. The bedpan can never go on the bedside stand. Either bedpan. You must have a blue pad on the patient to make sure you don't soil your primary sheet. Hand washing is required at the end of the skill. Do you need anything else, Mrs.? No. Would you like your curtain open? I would like to open. Okay, I'm going to touch the curtain and open the curtain. That's the end of our skill. Thank you.